Today I want to show you how to use displacement map to change a cloth texture in Photoshop, so let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Let's go straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, for today's episode we will use uh, this image of a woman wearing this one color sweater and we want to apply some texture on this sweater and to change completely texture of this sweater using these three textures and we want to preserve all these foldings and curves etc etc and for that we will use displacement map as I already mentioned in the last week episode displacement map are basically a depth map in Photoshop that gives Photoshop information about the image depth and first what we need to do here is to make that displacement map from this file all right but for displacement map we don't need color information only light information information of the light okay and I will use hue and saturation just to desaturate that and I will use a curves adjustment layer just to make a little bit darker just to make a little bit better contrast on this sweater something like so let me see before and after before and after that's really really nice and then I will merge all these visible layers together by holding shift Control alt t or shift command option e on a mac and that's basically it if we now save this as psd file we will have displacement map but we will have displace displacement map with all these information about uh, about the details here and if we want uh, we don't want if we don't want those details we just need to blur this uh, layer and i will blur it a little bit because i don't want so much detail on that of course this is too much i will blur it just a touch maybe something like so we need to preserve uh, the shape information but i don't want so much texture information maybe around three pixels let me see yeah it's okay all right and now we need to save this as displacement map Fa file save as and save it somewhere i already have it i will just save it over it okay and that's it now we have our displacement map saved the next step what we need to do is to make selection of the sweater only because we want to apply the texture only on that sweater all right for that i will use the quick selection tool but first let's delete all these layers because we don't need it anymore like so and just use quick selection tool to quickly select only the parts of the image that we want to apply texture on that okay something like so let me see we don't want this and we don't want this you don't need to be so precise here because this is just for for this exercise for this tutorial but if you're working on your own project of course you will be more and more precise with the selection okay let me see something like so that's nice the next step will be to convert this selection into the layer mask and to apply that layer mask onto one of those three textures that we have on this document so let's do that okay let's reveal this texture for example the first one and just apply layer mask on the texture not on the woman nice like that and we need to move this layer a little bit but if we move it like so we will move everything with the mask we if we want to move without moving a mask we just need to uncheck this chain icon here that it's holding these two layer and layer mask together just unlink it and now you can move it freely all right Control command t to make this a little bit bigger and reposition it something like so to cover all the sweater like so it's great now the next step will be to convert this to to change this to a multiply blending mode and we already have a great result but if we zoom it and look at these stars here the shape of the stars it's really flat it's like it's poof, just glue it just place it flat on this sweater and we don't want that we want those stars to uh, follow the curves and the shapes of these foldings on the sweater and for that we will use displacement map so let's apply displacement map on the layer to show you how uh, what is the result go to filter distort and displace and as you can see here you have horizontal and vertical scale experiment with these numbers 
to see what is the best for your file. I will use 9 now and put the, this to stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. Press OK, choose your displacement map PSD file and press open. And now as you can see before and after, see how this starts now following these foldings. See? Okay, let me show this. And now it's a little bit more realistic than before. Now we have our sweater with completely new texture and new pattern on it. That's great. But if we want to move this texture a little bit down, for example, to, to reveal a little bit more of these stars here, we cannot do that because, let me show you, we will move everything and displacement will not following those foldings here. That's not good. But there is a solution for that too. If you want to do like that, then before you are applying this uh, displacement map, you need to convert your layer to smart object. Okay, let's do that. Let's undo displacement map like so. Go to the layer. Let's just remove a layer mask for a moment and let's convert this layer to smart object like so. And then put back the layer mask. That's great. We have the same thing, but we have our smart layer here, smart object. And go to the filter and apply again displacement map, the same procedure. Everything will be the same like so. Great. But we have now that as a smart filter, our displacement map, it's now smart filter. If we double tick, the double tap or double click on this layer, we will open this smart object as a separate PSD file. And we can do the following. For example, look at here. If we want to put this, these two stars a little bit down. No problem. Just move this a little bit down and save it. Okay, just go there and see those stars are a little bit down. Before and after, before and after. As you can see here, the displacement map stays applied on this layer before it's applied here, after it's applied here. And that's really, really great method if you want to move your textures later. And it's good for one more thing too. If you have more than one texture in Photoshop that you want to apply on your uh, clothing to see which one suits the best for that purpose, the smart objects are really, really great thing because you don't need to apply displacement map on every other texture separately. You just need to put every texture that you have, that you want to have in a scene in that smart object PSD file. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, we have these two textures more. And first I will use this one and just go here and drag it like so to this PSD file. Nice. And if I save it now, let me show you. I already, I already have this with the applied displacement on the sweater. I just need to make it bigger. And let's do the same with this. Just go here and put it here, save it and go here. And I have these textures applied as displacement map. That's, that's really, really nice. Then let's go to this, uh, this, this smart object PSD file, unchecked everything. Just leave these textures and let's make it bigger, rotate it like so, press OK, save it. And as you can see now, we have completely different texture on this, this sweater. That's really, really nice. Of course, we can change this maybe to another, to, to color burn blending mode, to reduce the opacity a little bit. And we have interesting sweater now, completely different than original. And you can change, of course, blending mode to maybe color or, I don't know, hard light and Put this back and play with that. You can put in a multiply binding mode, of course, and lower the opacity. But for that, I love this color burn blending mode. It's really nice. And as you can see here, see how this line, it's not straight. It's following the fallings here and these lines here too. And these lines, if I uncheck this, see, this is the before displacement map. This is after displacement map. It's really, really nice. And this smart uh, objects are really good for fast changing of these textures. All right, let's go to the smart object PSD file here and let's use another, another texture, for example, this one, and let's make it bigger. 
like so. And press OK, save it, and let's go here. And as you can see, we have this texture applied. It's really nice. You can put it in a multiply blending mode or color burn or soft light, etc. etc. And we have really, really interesting result. Let me see. Hard light, it's too much. Overlay, it's not bad. We can even do something different. We can go and invert it with Control Command I. Sorry, we need to save it to apply the changes. And now we have something completely different. We can put in multiply blending mode and we have again completely different result. If we want to move this to the right because we want to see the whole, uh, this, this flower or star, what is it? The, the whole figure, the whole shape, we can just go here and move it to the right. Let's invert it back because I like it like this. Save it. Okay. And just put maybe in a screen blending mode to have a white with this or Soft light, it's nice. And as you can see, now we have really, really, really interesting and fun result. And it's really easy to do that with uh, smart objects. All right, guys, that's basically it. You just saw another method how to use displacement map to make your images a little bit more fun and interesting. And how to use smart objects to make your process a little bit more faster and easier. If you have any question regarding to this, tutorial please ask them in the comment below i will be glad to answer them see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye one more tip for you guys you can even apply your logo or some text or some symbols to your sweaters t-shirts jackets even pants uh, towels flags bags anything you want just name it and using displacement map you will create that effect that the uh, text or anything else will follow the shapes and foldings of the objects you want to apply it on. So have fun experiment and create great results. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.